This meltdown is for the history books. A lot of celebrities have lined up to endorse Kamala Harris, and all of them got major backlash for it, but none comes close to Cardi B's because it started from the moment of her speech at the Wisconsin rally where she froze due to the teleprompter not working. Today we're covering that in addition to how she changed her stance on not endorsing a candidate, and of course her meltdown as election results rolled in. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more discussions like this. Don't ask me, I don't give a the resume that they send, I don't give a f I'm not endorsing no f presidents no more. Cause we could fund two wars. We could fund two wars. Cause talking about we don't got it, but we got it. Like we're the greatest nation. No, the f we're not. We're going through some sh right now. Like say it, say it. We really going through. Uh, we, we we really 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 are f right now. And yeah, we talking about we f we could fund two wars. That's like a trying to front like yeah i got the money to support two but you really don't y'all talk about y'all don't fucking y'all don't make negotiate negotiation with the odds well y'all need to sit the fuck down with these people and find a and, and find agreement no we cannot fund these wars we can't keep it a bean we can't you might be shocked, but this was Cardi B a year ago saying she won't endorse a candidate for the presidency and complaining about the ongoing wars in the world. That's why it was hard for many to see the endless celebrity endorsements for Kamala as genuine passion. Her campaign lacked a clear plan besides burning through a billion dollars in three months, and she had no solid platform to rally people around. Yet celebrities like Cardi B and Usher, who previously stated they wouldn't endorse a candidate, came out and supported her. You might be wondering what might be the reason behind this 180 flip? Well, it's simple. Money or favors, you see, these celebrities were nothing but paid actors and were hired to read lines and push talking points handed down by Kamala's campaign. This is all alleged, of course, and I'm sure you still remember how Cardi was confused and started calling for her assistant patience because the teleprompter wasn't working during the Wisconsin rally where she endorsed Harris. Elon Musk noticed her terrible acting and he quoted Cardi's speech saying, quote, another puppet who can't even talk without being fed the words the Kamala campaign has no authenticity or true empathy. Empathy. Other people were quick to notice it as well and flooded Cardi's posts with comments calling her out, which led to her clarifying some things. I work so hard, bro. I work so hard on my speech. Um, and a lot of y'all talking about like, oh, why are you reading it from a phone? Bitch, I had to write that shit down because I had to make, bitch, I'm 32 years old, bitch, and I, and I have three kids. My mind be fucking raising all goddamn day, bitch. Like, it's like sometimes you, sometimes, bitch, I be fucking, I be arguing on the, on, on my shower, like, and rehearsing what I'm gonna tell when I see them, and you know what? I forget what I be telling them. I'm like, damn, I was in the f shower for 30 minutes. I was gonna say to this, but you know what? Then when I be in face to face, I be forgetting. So you know, when it comes to this right here, I been knew what I've been wanting to say, but I had to make sure I didn't forget. So I wrote the f down. Y'all gonna hear what the f I had to say. And I'm proud of myself. Yeah, sure, I totally buy that explanation. She wasn't able to form a sentence without dropping F-bombs, but she wrote a 12-minute speech. Give me a break. What's even worse is that she responded to Elon by saying, quote, I'm not a puppy to Elon. I'm a daughter of two immigrant parents that had to work their butt off to provide for me. I'm a product of welfare. I'm a product of Section 8. I'm a product of poverty. And I'm a product of what happens when the system is set up against you. But you don't know nothing about that. You don't know not one thing about the American struggle. Hmm, wasn't she a lady of the night who was robbing men before she was famous? But anyway, beside that, I find it hilarious that she's claiming the system is set up against her while she's openly admitting that her family received government welfare. Do you want another proof that the system is set up against her? According to Yahoo Finance, as of this year, Cardi B has a speculated net worth of $80 million. I want someone to set the system up against me if that means I'll have such the net worth. Jokes aside, though, as much as she likes to portray the image of a victim and a passionate Kamala supporter, she's not, and it was all a farce, just like every other celebrity. But Cardi's most insane reactions came on election night, and there was a specific moment that truly showed her character. At this time, that means he needs 23 more. Pennsylvania has 19 electoral votes. Michigan has 15. This is why some of y'all states be getting hurricanes. That's all I'ma say. I'm not even gonna y'all know y'all know how I feel in the beginning of the year. I did not I did not want to vote for nobody. She she changed my mind. I feel like she was very honest. I feel like she said the things that I wanted to hear. 
when I look at her in her face and when she was talking to me, I really felt like she was very genu genuine. I felt like she was not playing no f games. And she had a hundred days to, she had a hundred days to do all of this. And she woke, she woke, she woke this nation up. She woke this nation up. You just witnessed the four stages of grief, my friends. The video where she says the vile hurricane comments was deleted real quick, and if such comments had been made by someone like Elon Musk or any other celebrity on the right, which will never happen because they have human decency and never wish to harm upon anyone else, even if it's their own political rival, well, in that case, the woke mob would be out with their pitchforks calling for cancellation and can kiss their careers goodbye. Cardi's meltdown didn't stop there as she posted on X saying, quote, We need a Hail Mary. People were quick to troll her. One user said, quote, I was going to vote for Kamala, but then I saw you endorsed her and voted for Trump. Well, another took a jab at Wisconsin's speech and replied with, quote, At least groceries will be affordable again. But the best reply, in my opinion, was Tupac would have been a Trump supporter. And I don't know if that'd be the case, but a lot of rappers did come out to support Trump earlier this year after his New York trial. After the race was called for Trump, Cardi released released a statement on X thanking Kamala because of, quote, how inspiring and strong she was, especially since the odds were stacked against her. Her, an 80 millionaire. Gosh, you know, I really feel for her, especially since the biggest obstacle Kamala's campaign faced was Kamala herself. So it must have been very hard for them. If you thought this story ends here, you're mistaken, my friend, because people were still trolling Cardi and she had to release one final video. Hey, so listen, I'm gonna let y'all know this right now, okay? So you little trumpets, like, y'all won, I, I know y'all happy, whatever the f ain't nobody acting like bitter losers. However, y'all need to leave me the f alone, because I got one more f cigarette in me before I start lighting y'all up, all right? And that's where to the United States of America. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's a classy statement. I understood it as, quote, okay, you won, I got paid, so I don't care what happens after this, so leave me alone. But I absolutely love how this election revealed that many people have decided to wake up and not follow celebrity endorsements as they once did. These people seem to hold sway over public opinion with their political endorsements, being treated as some stamp of approval, but this time around, a lot of voters turned out the political message pushed by celebrities. My advice to Cardi B and other Hollywood stars would be to stay neutral because people don't want to hear about healthcare reform or the economy or foreign policy from someone who isn't personally affected by these issues in the same way that regular people are. That said, I would recommend staying in your lane, do what you do best, and create music, films, or art because that brings people together and is far more appreciated than parroting lines given by a political campaign. I would love to know your thoughts here though, so let's get the conversation rolling in the comments down below. Oh, and by the way, if you don't want your friends to miss this, please share the video with them.